This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at isotopes. So let's start with a definition. Isotopes are atoms that have the same atomic number, but a different mass number. In other words, they have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Here we have the three naturally occurring isotopes of carbon, which are carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14. As we can see, each isotope has the same atomic number but the mass number of each isotope is different. So next we'll look at these three isotopes in more detail. So next we'll determine the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in each isotope. Starting on the left with carbon 12. Its atomic number is six, so this means it has six protons in its nucleus. If we subtract the atomic number from the mass number, we get the number of neutrons, which is six. And because these are neutral atoms, the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. Next we have the isotope carbon-13, which has six protons, seven neutrons, and six electrons. And finally on the right we have the isotope carbon-14, which has six protons, eight neutrons, and six electrons. So from this we can see that each isotope has the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Next we look at the three isotopes of hydrogen. So starting with the isotope on the left, which has one proton, zero neutrons, and one electron. Next we have hydrogen two, which has one proton, one neutron, and one electron. And finally hydrogen three, which has one proton, two neutrons, and one electron. So once again, we can see that each isotope has the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Next, we'll look at the difference in the physical properties of the hydrogen isotopes. Starting with boiling point, we can see that it's different for the three isotopes. And as the mass number of the isotope increases, so does the boiling point. We also see the same trend for the melting point and density, where the heavier isotopes have higher melting points and higher densities. So from this, we can see that the physical properties of the isotopes are different. And this is because each isotope has a different mass number. Note that each isotope has identical chemical properties. Chemical properties are largely determined by the electron configuration of the atom. And because these isotopes have identical electron configurations, they have identical chemical properties. We'll end the video by looking at relative abundance, which is defined as the percentage of atoms with a specific mass number in a naturally occurring sample of the element. So in this table, we have the three naturally occurring isotopes of magnesium, which are magnesium-24, magnesium-25, and magnesium-26. The relative abundances are 78.99%, 10%, and 11.01% respectively. The relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24.31. Note that this value is closer to 24 because this isotope has the highest relative abundance. In the next video, we'll look at how to use these relative abundances to calculate the relative atomic mass of an element.